Well, good morning to another episode of Go Sea Camping. Um, this week has, well, the last two weeks have been very, very busy. I've been, um, co a company I've been contracting to had a stand up at the um, International Boat Show held in Yokohama in Tokyo, and um, we were invited to go up there. Um, so we did help up set up the display, and the following few minutes are of the video of the um, International Boat Show. A few weeks ago I put out a, um, a video titled Cats vs Mono and uh, in there I mentioned about the Plastic Fantastics and now that I'm at the boat show I had the opportunity to see a couple of these um, lovely Plastic Fantastics uh, floating apartments I think I call them and um, they are just that they are absolutely beautiful boats um, they are really well um, thought out of in terms of what they're designed and, and sold to do uh, when you, as soon as you step on board it's it is really like walking onto a um, onto a floating apartment. Um, the layout is lovely. The colours are beautiful. Um, everything's there. It's just um, a really wonderful experience to be on these boats. The um, the issue I have with them, I guess, is what I've said before on that video is that they're not really, in my mind anyway, they're not something I'd feel very comfortable with sailing offshore and going to sort of remote places or unknown places. They are really well designed um, for those coastal day cruises for a short overnight um, off to a destination that you are, that you know of, it's got good anchorages or a marina or a sheltered, um, that you know the weather forecast is going to be for the next couple of days so you can get anywhere or stay out of trouble if, if you do get caught out. Having said all that, they are absolutely the most beautiful boat I could think of for doing um, coastal hopping around, you know, for doing for you know, a day or two down, down the coast and then dropping offshore to an island and, and reefs and that type of thing. They've got everything there. The space is so well laid out. Um, it's just usable. It's lovely. It's airy. It's spacious. They open up to get the breeze through. Um, I love the Masters ensuite. Um, which has got that sort of beautiful bathroom area and the toilet plus the um, um, the shower that is um, completely closed off so you don't get all that steam and mist going through the rest of the boat and creating mold problems. The build on them is very different build between the Lagoon and the Bali. Um, the Lagoon is 
it's two foot longer, three foot wider, and three and a half tons heavier. It does show in the in what they've put onto the boat in terms of joinery. It's there's a lot more wood. Um, there's a lot more. You know, okay, so it might be um, veneer wood, but it's still there's a lot more of it. The um, the barley doesn't have all that extra trim. Uh, a lot of it's just uh, kind of like a raw ridge that's been smoothed off, I guess. And not everything is um, is level and straight. And it's um, you know it's just a much lighter weight boat, and that's obviously reflect reflected in the price as well. Um, the barley is made of a composite type of material um, with a wood grain on the top, I guess. Well, I don't know if that's a veneer or just um, an in, uh, you know, infused pattern into it. Um, it's obviously going to be very hard wearing. Um, you know, it's not going to soak up moisture or anything like that. It's, so it's going to last, it should last quite a while, you'd hope. Um, but it does give a feeling, it, it does tap out. It's very lightweight. On the other hand, the lagoon's a lot heavier and has that, it will just have a, a more solid feeling. It is obviously more expensive. Um, you know, it's an extra 75,000 US dollars for I think roughly the same package. Um, so, but you know, I think you're sort of getting a lot more boat for that extra $75,000. The other two major differences from the outside is that the, um, the lagoon has a tramp, whereas the, the barley doesn't. And again, that sort of gives an indication of um, you know, how it's going to handle in heavy weather with big waves coming up underneath and one's going to slap and the other one's going to go through a little bit of the, or through, through the nets. Um, and again, the barley has an on top helms position, which is nice for a few days. But if, you, you know, if you're out in the sun all the time, or if you've got to do passages and it's blowing a gale and horrible, it gets tiring. And you're also cut off from the um, from what's happening in the cockpit below. Whereas the lagoon, yeah, it's kind of exposed as well, but you're sort of still part of the um, of the cockpit below. You can probably still hear conversation happening easily and and look down and, and see what's happening. Um, so those are the two big differences I feel um, on the outside. They've both got a lot of windage on them. Um, they're both you know plastic fantastics and look like floating apartments, but they are both. Um, you know, once you're on board, they're absolutely gorgeous. And um, if I was cruising um, locally and I wasn't expected to go offshore, um, I would certainly be interested in something like this. They are just really nice. Um, I'd have no problems living on board long term on these boats. They're absolutely gorgeous. Um, you know, yes, they are floating apartments, but there's nothing wrong with that. It gets people on the water, enjoying the water, which at the end of the day is 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 good news. If you've got the money and you're sort of doing a sort of coastal hopping and going around, I guess, just the Bahamas or the Caribbean or sort of areas like that, these are, are stunning boats for that type of um, lifestyle. Um, if you're thinking of going serious offshore cruising or you don't have that sort of money, these are expensive, um, then yeah, I'd look at um, Warrams or other sort of um, lower cost, um, safer, better sailing options um, than, than these boats. Next week, um, I'll be back into this part of my world. So yeah, so thanks for watching. If you liked, thumbs up. If you would like to watch more, etc., subscribe.